You've tuned in to The Mountain Gardener with local garden expert, Ken Lane. Join him each week as he answers timely garden questions that are sure to make a difference in your gardens. Now welcome your host, Ken Lane. So I just got word or an update. In fact, the, the uh, Rotary Club, Prescott Frontier Rotary is asking me to help them get their press release published or noticed because the nonprofits, they need some help sometimes. They've got a lot of heart. They've got a lot of energy, a lot of volunteers, but connection to the community deep. Uh, how to get, how to let people know what they're doing. They're not that good at that. So most nonprofits need, need help. And so that's the reason 17 years ago, Lisa and I stepped up and said, hey, why don't we help Prescott Frontier Rotary really make a difference in our school systems? Their passion, Prescott Frontier Rotary, there's lots of rotary groups. There's, there's um, four of them right here in the Tri-Cities area alone. I think there's dozens and dozens, if not hundreds, in the state of Arizona, 34,000 globally. And each one has their own personality, their own passion, their own, what they're committed to, what they really, some are for hungry kids, some are for clean drinking water, some of them are for uh, you know, the Prescott Frontier Rotaries for kids and helping kids get through school smarter, stronger, better. And they've got summer schools and helping seniors graduate with that extra credit. They've got leadership training for exchange students. They're, they're passionate as kids. Well, that's what Lisa and I are about too. If you can put some female stuff in there, female leadership and all that, at least and I are really into it. And so they, we partnered with them 17 years ago and we, we started a grapes for good event here at the garden center. They were looking to raise some money and I went, Hey, why don't we have a garden party? Now back 17 years ago, a garden party, wine tastings were a brand new thing. So it's very novel. And they kind of went, Oh, it took me actually two years to convince them. They finally came on board and and uh, they figured out that the community loves to have fun while helping raise money for great causes and, and giving it towards nonprofits that, that can have an influence. They can, they can compound that money and do even more with it. And that's what Rotary does. Actually, Rotary, they will actually put that money to, into a, 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 a foundation. And then uh, they've got two foundations. One's international where you put your money in, you get it all back uh, three years later. So they use it for three years and doing great cause like ending polio, uh, ending malaria, malaria. They actually, Rotary wants to end malaria as we know it. They're coming up with science to figure that out, uh, which is an, one of the number one killers in third world countries. And so I forgot where I was going with that. Anyway, I'm a Rotarian too, so I've got a passion for it. Uh, but they're making, they're, they're doing good here. But I think sometimes nonprofits need to partner up with for-profit companies, because we've got all the connections. We've got the advertisement. I'm taking on the big box stores. I've got no money to do it with. They've got millions of dollars to spend on advertising. I can't compete, but I got a personality. I got friends. Uh, I've been here forever. And so that is worth a lot. And it helps us really dance around the big, big boxes and thrive. We're thriving. So for three generations, we've been thriving and we're doing better than ever but we can partner with nonprofits and help them get part of our connections. We did that this year. So two, two or three weekends ago, two weekends ago, they raised $105,000 in three hours time with a garden party here at the garden center, Waters Garden Center. And so that's what you can get. That's the synergy that happens with, I call it to conscious capitalism. So I, I'm trying to do good, leverage our talents and money and time to, to, but I don't want to do it myself. I'd rather work through a nonprofit and have help them to do it even better. I think that's where you get synergy with, with nonprofits. But anyway, just well done. Uh, Prescott Frontier Rotary, they meet Tuesdays at, at noon over at uh, Prescott Resorts. You all did a magical job. I, we'll do it again next year because my team was all about it. And you did, you raised a lot of money and doing a lot of good with it. So $105,000, that's amazing. Well done. Do, do some good with it. Ken and Lisa Lane here at Waters Garden Center. We love hanging out and just talking to gardeners. Autumn is the most beautiful time of the year in the mountains. And Waters Garden Center has the brightest trees. 
We've collected 700 hardy trees, including maple, aspen, ash, and oak. Each is ready to plant so you can enjoy brilliant fall foliage in your yard. Shop online at top10trees.com or visit us in Prescott. Trees are brighter at Waters Garden Center in Prescott and online at top10trees.com. If you want a more fruitful garden, increase success in your landscape that just feels better, then tune in every week to The Mountain Gardener. Years of tips, tricks, and garden shortcuts are guaranteed to make your gardens nicer than ever. Listen to this podcast or read Ken's weekly garden column by visiting watersgardencenter.com. That's waters with two T's, gardencenter.com. Thanks for tuning in.